Good morning, everybody. It's July the 12th, the day before my mom's 81st birthday. Happy birthday in advance, mom. I'm Brett, your thankful carnivore. I hope you're having a great morning. You've already had your meat and water if you're eating breakfast. I know I did. Man, was it good. Absolutely delicious. Listen, <laughs> I woke up this morning to just a myriad of messages from people all over the world. And y'all had one thing in common. Y'all were worrying too much about things that aren't worth worrying about. Brett, do you worry about protein in your kidneys? No. Brett, do you worry about butter causing your anxiety or depression to come back? No. Brett, do you worry about your blood sugar spiking, your glucose skyrocketing because of eating so much protein? No. Gluconeogenesis is demand driven. It's it's even this guitar player understands that. You not there's not all these things to worry about when you're eating meat and drinking water. There's no need. I don't measure anything. I don't worry about anything. I trust my body. I only put nutrition into my pie hole. Nothing but meat and water goes into this mouth. It's the way it's been for 361 days, and it'll continue that way as long as I'm on this side of the grass. Okay, somebody's asking a question in chat. Do you eat barbecue? No, I do not. I don't crave barbecue. I was never a fan of barbecue before I was carnivorous. It just was never my thing. It's a flavor deal. I just never cared for it that much. Play on meat and water works for me. Seafood, it's meat, it's water. If it swam in the water, if it flew in the air, if it walked on the ground and had a mama's teat, it's okay to eat. If it was in the water, if it's meat, it's okay to eat. That's the answer to every one of those questions. If it's meat that came from planet Earth, it's okay to eat. As long as it's not spoiled and rotten. I don't recommend that. That's the answer. See, that's what I want to talk to everybody about. You want to complicate this so much. When I say only eat the meat you crave and can afford, that's plural. That's all the meats on this planet that are safe for human beings to eat is okay for you if that's what you crave. Pure and simple. If that's what you crave, that's the meat you can afford and you crave, then that's what you eat. I get asked all the time, Brett, do you, what do you, I, I'm looking at, I'm thinking about going and getting some liver. What do you think? The answer is the same. I think you should get the meat you crave and can afford. Always. Every day. Every meal. Should only be about the meat you crave and can afford. I don't have a say in what you crave. You do. You're the only one who does. And that's one of the, somebody says they love pork. Well, that's great. Pork's delicious. I, I, I eat eight slices of bacon every meal. <laughs> I'm not against pork. Pork's delicious. But bacon satisfies me. And ground beef satisfies me. So that's all I eat. That has no, should have no bearing ever on what you put into your mouth. You got to stop worrying about this stuff. It's so simple. Only eat when you're hungry. And when you eat, eat until you're not another bite full. Only eat the meat you crave and can't afford. Don't put sweet taste into your mouth. It's that simple. There's no ambiguity there. It covers all the bases about what you should and should not put into your mouth on the carnivore way of eating. 
I'm not responsible for what your teacher told you. I believe that human beings are facultative carnivores. We can survive in cases of famine or the absence of meat, and we can exist as omnivores. But I believe we only really thrive, the majority of us, when we are eating as we were designed, meat and water. That's my experience. 361 days of just eating meat and drinking water. Where's the scurvy? Remember we were told if you just if you don't eat any vegetables or any greens, you're going to get scurvy and you're going to die. I'm still waiting for the scurvy. The scurvy hasn't found me yet. I don't believe any scurvy is ever going to come to Brett. Yeah, I don't I don't worry about it. I trust my body. I eat the meat I crave and can afford. Vitamin C, all the traces of vitamin C you need in your life is in meat. And that's to help your body process the traces of carbs found in meat. Vitamin C, outside of that, is non-essential. Fruit is non-essential. Fruit is nothing but an un, a, a naturally grown vessel of sugar that causes inflammation, type 2 diabetes, arthritis, mental illness, and fiber, which causes diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, IBS, sour gut, leaky gut, <laughs> colon problems. It's garbage. It's non-essential. Stop worrying you're not helping anything with the worry. Trust your body. Only give it nutrition. You guys have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday. I appreciate everybody who watches. You savages on Periscope. Yesterday I had the biggest numbers I've ever had since I've been doing this. I so appreciate you all and the folks on, on Twitter who watch. And you good people on Instagram, you're so kind to me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Get a chance. Go to artlife.us. Check out a Meaty Tees t-shirt. And have a blessed weekend. Be thankful.